According to a new poll from ABC news, Donald Trump is screwed. And that really honestly is the best way to put it because according to this new poll, ever since last Tuesday's arraignment, right? When the indictments came out, the public got to see what was in there. Support for Donald Trump among the population as a whole fell by four points, dropping his approval rating from 29%, which was already terrible down to just 25%, 25% approval rating nationally. And this is the guy that y'all are letting run for president in your party when only a quarter of the country, which isn't even all the Republicans in the country support him. That's like, good luck. Good luck in a general election with a guy who has a 25% approval rating. I hope you nominate him because you know, that's the Biden doesn't even have to campaign at that point. He, he can go take naps. He can eat ice cream, do whatever the hell he wants. He can go ride his bike and just be like, Oh, is there an election coming up? Totally forgot because I'm running against a guy that everybody hates. So I, I hope you run him because that would just be the greatest thing in the world to watch him lose so spectacularly. The numbers get even worse though, than just that approval rating among independents. 54% say he should have been charged with a crime. 57% say he intentionally did something illegal. 57% say that not only uh, he should have been charged, they say he intentionally did something illegal. Now understand the distinction of that. Like it's not 57% say he did something illegal. 57% say he intentionally did something illegal. And there is a world of difference there. It's like, if you get into a car accident, like, oh, he got into a car accident versus he intentionally got into a car accident. World of difference between those two things. And that's what independent voters are telling the pollsters right now. We believe not only that he did it, but that he meant to do it. And of course that he should now be prosecuted for it. The reason these numbers with independents are so important is because we know how Republicans are going to vote. We know how Democrats are going to vote. What we don't know is how independents are going to vote. Well, based on these numbers, I, I think we got a pretty good idea of how independents are going to vote. And it's not the way that Republicans want it to go. But within the Republican party, Trump's support remains strong. He is still their front runner. He is the guy that right now has that nomination on lockdown. Ron DeSantis's numbers in the Republican party are falling with each new poll that comes out. Trump's in the Republican party are going up. There's still plenty of time. There is still plenty of time for another Republican candidate to come along and beat Trump, but it doesn't look like that's happening now. His numbers are not staying steady. They're going up with Republicans. They're going down with everybody else. So Republicans have a really horrible situation on their hands that they totally deserve because Trump's going to win your primary. Then we're going to move to a general election that is basically going to look like the electoral map when Ronald Reagan run, except it's going to be reversed. This is going to be an absolute electoral slaughter by the Democrats. And not only by the way, is that going to cost Republicans the white house? It's going to cost them control of the Senate because Democrats have more seats up than Republicans do. Republicans view 2024 as their last chance this decade to take back the Senate. They've admitted if we don't do it this time, we won't do it till after 2030. So Democrats stand a good chance of controlling that body for at least, uh, the rest of the decade, the house, the voters are already pissed off at what Republicans are doing. And if you add a horrible person at the top of the ticket that only has a 25% approval rating, Donald Trump, y'all are screwed. You deserve every second of this. And I hope all of this happens because you're horrible people like Trump aside, 
you're doing horrible things to the country at the state level, at the federal level, at the local level, y'all deserve to all be kicked out of office. And I am hopeful that you've learned nothing from 2018, 2020 and 2022, because you're going to continue down this path. And then 2024 is going to roll around. You're going to get your butts kicked and you'll be like, well, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Shocked me, right? You're never going to learn. And honestly, you not being able to learn from your mistakes and then getting walloped in elections is the best thing that America can hope for. Hey everyone, this is Aspen. And did you know that for the low, low cost of $0 per day, you can subscribe to the Fair and Balanced YouTube channel. We also encourage you to like, comment, and share. But again, click that subscribe button and help Aspen. Oh, not be so grumpy.